I came to Dubai in 2006, so now more than 11 years ago. Uh, my youngest daughter had just turned one years old when we arrived in March of that year. At the moment, I'm working with Surge for Water here in Dubai, and my role is the director for education programs. We have a fabulous program called Water the Global Passport, and we work with primary school children here in Dubai. The aim of the program is really to open their eyes to the global water crisis. They get to appreciate what life is like for children in many other countries around the world who don't have easy access to water. We also try to inspire them to become water heroes and conserve water. I do travel quite a lot, yes. I just came back from Uganda a few weeks ago. I was there on a volunteer mission. It was part um, of the activities of the organization I work with, Surge. We were in a community um, about eight hours north of Kampala called Kai Bermedo. And the work that we undertook there as volunteers was to teach a wash training, which is water access, sanitation, and hygiene. We teach children about uh, good hand washing. We teach them about germs and how to keep their food safe for consumption. Um, the other work that we were doing was to deliver water filters, uh, home and school water filters. Um, as you may know, obviously a lot of, uh, in, in a lot of countries in Africa, the water is not clean at the source. So they're collecting the water maybe from a river or from a lake. When they get it home, then they need to filter it. So this was part of the, of the, of the work we did and the support we brought to this community. For Surge, this is the key that water is the source of all life and water for us means bringing people out of poverty. Um, obviously, these are not the issues that we're accustomed to here in the UAE. We live in a very privileged society. Um, I think that the awareness is still not high enough uh, regarding the global water crisis and we simply take water for granted. In January, when I heard about the year of giving, I thought this is the year for Surge. This is it. Um, this is when we will begin to grow the organization and we will be able to bring so much more in terms of education to the communities that we're working with. So our plans are to scale up um, our primary school program. We actually have uh, just recently begun work with DIWA. So it's very exciting for us because we will be able to translate our program into Arabic. Our plans as of September are to deliver the passport, water passport program in local and expatriate schools, so in both Arabic and English, with DIWA employee volunteers. I think for me, the period of Ramadan is, is very special um, because I enjoy uh, this moment, this, this one month, where I feel that people really express their gratitude and really give thanks. I think it's just a, a wonderful moment to share iftar with others and breaking the fast and really appreciating what we have here in the UAE. Favorite place in, the, in Dubai has to be the beach. I, I love spending the day listening to the waves. I just enjoy being outside. I love the, the weather here, so we can, we can enjoy the beach almost all year round. <laughs> we have really all we need here in the UAE. We, we don't need to buy another mobile phone. We don't need more clothes. <laughs> um, and we can use some of our own resources to help those in need. I just came back, as I was saying before, from Uganda, I traveled there with six of my friends, six women from Dubai. And for me, I think one of the most amazing parts of the trip was that we, we um, covered the cost of fixing a broken borehole. This was, a, was simply something that the local community didn't have the funds to repair. They, they don't have the means. So they no longer could get water at their school. They had to trek several kilometers to get w dirty water from an unprotected spring. So this cost us, six of us, $2,000. And it's now going to provide water to more than 2,000 people in the school and their families living in the immediate vicinity. So that's a dollar, a dollar per person that, that we've impacted. And I sometimes think about that again now that I'm back here in Dubai and I wonder why um, 
As a world community, we can't solve the water problem. One in ten people today still don't have access to clean drinking water. And it's not that hard.